Simon, in your time at Palace, what was the the occasion that maybe signified the earliest uh, signs of um, people not happy with the man you, you've appointed as a new manager? What was it? Did did you hear early signs of um, yeah, you always, discontent? Yeah, you, you you know, if if we're leading this into perhaps Wayne Rooney argument and two games in, no, I didn't hear that two games in. There were disappointment. I remember when I made Steve Kemba management and I did uh, manager and I did a fans forum and people thought that I'd taken the cheap option because he was the assistant manager and he wasn't somebody that they thought should be managing. Not because they didn't like Steve Kemba, because they looked at me and said, "Where's your ambition?" So, you know, I said, we'll, okay. wait, we'll wait and see. Right. And when there was Peter Taylor, uh, you know, Peter Taylor came in, they became, you know, ambivalent because the brand of football was quite turgid. So they let you know, but never, not really. Not two off, games no. in. Kemba, there was dissatisfaction because of the appointment. Once the appointment had been made and I sat in front of a fan's audience and said, well, I've made it, so shut up and get on with it. And these yeah. are my reasons. Yeah, okay. And of course we started all right and then we fell away. But notwithstanding, it, they, it all depends on the fan base, doesn't it? Well, it does indeed. So Birmingham City, they've got themselves a new manager and he's Wayne Rooney. In fact, Blues co-owner Tom Brady, once of the Patriots and the Bucks, flew in to watch the Blues play for the second time. But he didn't see them win. It was uh, Liam Senior's Hull who uh, won the match at St Andrews last night. And two games in, two defeats. Boos rang round St Andrews at full time. Birmingham fans, what what is your thinking then this morning? We'll get to you in a bit. As for what happened on the pitch, this was Rooney. I've changed players t- tonight from Saturday and obviously you're still trying to figure out um, players' characters as well um, in terms of, as I've said to them there, the last 10 minutes of this game has shown me a lot. Um, and the, the first 18 minutes, yeah, of course, there's things we can do better and um, things we've done okay. Um, but the last 10 minutes have shown me a lot and I, that's something which I, I don't accept in, in terms of the last 10 minutes when I'm seeing not, not fighting and not running to the end um, when there's still 10, 15 minutes left in the game where we maybe get a goal and you're back in it. So um, that, that was a concern for me and something which um, won't happen again. Um. There's a message from Rob. But guys, it's a kind of different dynamic with Rooney, isn't it? Because uh, Birmingham took out a manager who was successful. Rooney had to hit the ground running and he, he hasn't done that. I mean, how quickly does this need to change for Rooney, Simon? Uh, two two games, two defeats. Well, all right. Difficult, you know, ga- difficult games, though. Let's have it right. Middlesbrough were in a decent run of form after bouncing back from some adverse... They were, they were an established uh, championship side, but a manager that's beginning to learn his way around. Hull are doing well. Liam Racine is doing really well. Hull are a decent side. And both of those games are difficult. The, I don't think... Difficult? Th- yeah, they're difficult games. Difficult. And he's got more difficult games coming down the pike. He's got Southampton next. I think he's got Ipswich after that. They've got some difficult that games. That was Hull's coming. first win in five games last night. Yeah, but they're still, Hull have still started the season relatively no, well. No, you'd have in Birmingham to win that. But yeah, probably on the basis of recent form. Yeah, fair comment. On the basis of the, of the John Eustace year. And you know my views on the fact that I don't think John Eustace probably deserved the push. Mm. But they've made their decision now. And and people like me have had their opinion upon it. The next thing now is for Wayne to get his head into the game, to understand what's in his dressing room, and to try and meet the expectation of what... the Because I didn't like some of the stuff he was talking about, about the players need to get their heads round, or more to the point, need to tell me how they want to play. I'm not sure about that. You need to tell them how you, you want them to play. Yeah. But they've, they've made their decision. Rooney comes with all that, 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 that the Tom Brady's of the world think that it comes with. Now, whether that's the stardust that they think they need to have on a football team, the stardust you get on a football team is by winning football matches, not by making autograph hunting decisions. But Wayne is in there now. So Wayne's job now is to get his head in the game. He wouldn't have wanted this start, a 1-0 away to Middlesbrough. And ironically, both of these people that he's played against are people that he knows relatively well. Mm. Carrick at United and Liam Rossini was his assistant at Derby. Look, do I think it's going to be a troubled project? I think it has... In the same way I looked at Gerard going to Villa and said to myself and said to, the, to, to us on air, I think this is going to end badly, and it did. I don't have high optimism for Wayne Rooney's successes at Birmingham, not because I dislike Wayne, not because I have an agenda against Birmingham, because I don't think if it ain't broke, why fix it? Mm. They were going in the right direction. Danny made a point yesterday, and I don't know how relevant it is, and only Birmingham fans can attest to it, that actually there was a, a reaction to the nature of football being played. Well, you heard that reaction last night because they got beat. Yeah. So were the Birmingham fans complaining about the way John Eustace's pragmatic brand of football was delivering a slightly yeah. you know, uninspiring outcome? Or were they happy being sick from the league when they sure. t- sacked the manager? Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.